Hi everyone, in this video I want to analyze a crazy game played between Grandmaster Mikhail Marin and International Master Doncha Vladimir. The game was played in round 3 of Romania Superliga. And there were many mistakes in this game made by both players due to the opening choice and black determination to punish white for his opening choice. Let's see the game. White started with f4 and as you know in opening pawn moves are good only if they allow us to develop a piece. This pawn controls e5 central square but weakens some diagonals in white camp. This is known as the bird opening. Black reply with a strange move, knight to a6, placing the knight on the edge of the board. Usually we should place the knight towards the center but black idea is to place the knight on f5 controlling some squares in white camp and then push h5 h4 trying to punish white for his opening choice. While continue with knight to f3, d5, placing a pawn in the center, preparing the bishop development, d3, defending the pawn and prepares e4, knight to c6, g3, bishop to g4, bishop to g2, preparing short castle, and in the database there is only one game played in this position, and there black chose to play queen to d7 and long castle. In this game black chose to move the same piece in an opening with knight to f5, looking at e3 square and making room to push the pawn. c3 controlling some squares in his camp and with this move white opens the diagonal for his queen to enter the game. Black continue with h5, queen to b3, attacking the pawn, defending. If white develops the other knight to a d2, black can win the light square bishop with the knight to a3, removing the defender of the light squares from the king side, but this loses some tempo. As we can see, the knight moved 1, 2, 3, if he goes here and fourth to take the bishop while white played only one move with the bishop also white needs to be careful with castling due to h4 opening the h file for black rook in the game white opted to play e4 trying to open the center while his king is still in the center and this is not a wise option the drawback of this move is that black can open the d file after he takes on e4 and bring the queen on d3 square which is not protected that happened in the game black took white recaptured and queen to d3 now we see that moving the queen too early in an opening is not a good idea white king is very exposed and black has some pieces into the attack for the moment black threatens to take this knight because it's attacked twice but white can take the knight from f5 and if white takes this knight, we would have bishop takes, bishop takes, queen takes on f3, rook to f1, taking the queen, queen to e4, check, king to f2, h4, g4, not allowing black to open the h file, h3, controlling g2, queen to d1, queen to g2, check, king to e1, queen takes on h2, queen to f3, trying to exchange queens but black needs more pieces into an attack so e5 trying to bring the dark square bishop into the game, knight to d2 queen to g2 queen takes, h takes rook to g1, rook to h1 knight to f3 defending the rook but bishop to c5 and after b4 black is a piece up in a game black didn't take on f5, instead he played queen to d5, white wants to exchange queens, but black can go forward with the knight to d4, and we had knight f to d4, avoiding the queen exchange and threatens, mate on e2, so white took the knight, black wants to take again on d4, but first he needs to eliminate the defender of d square, and he took on f3, bishop takes on f3, black recaptured the bishop, White continue with rook to f1, queen to d3, attacking d4 for a second time. And what should white do here? He has three developing moves, knight to c3, 
bishop to d2 or rook to f2. Let's see the first option with the bishop to d2. Here, black takes on d2, threatening mate, knight to c3 defending, e6 attacking the queen, queen to a5, h4 trying to open the h file, queen takes on h7, h takes on g3, queen takes on b8 check, king to d7, h takes on g3, knight to f3 check, white has to take the knight, rook takes, queen takes on f3, and black is mated soon. The rook will come on h1. So this uh, bishop to d2 is not good for white. Let's see the other option with rook to f2, rook to d8, attacking the queen, queen to b3, trying to exchange queens, queen takes on e4 check, rook to e2, queen to h1 check, king to f2, knight takes on d4, attacking the queen and the rook, queen to e3, queen takes on h2 check, king to e1, knight takes on e2, queen takes on e2, queen to g1 check, queen to f1, and black wins the queen after a rook to d1 check. So this option is not good. The last option with knight to c3 was played in the game, but it, it's not good because white takes on d4 with the knight winning material. So if developing moves are not working, white needs to do something else. Since black queen is in white territory, he needs to apply the principle of neutralization and attack the queen with queen to b3. Let's see that line. After this move, white takes on e4 check, bishop to e3, e6, a3, controlling b4 square, rook to d8, knight to d2, taking the queen, knight takes on d4, counter attacking white queen, knight takes on d4, knight takes on b3, rook to d1, and black is two pawns up in this position, so this could have been a possible continuation, which is also not good for white. In the game instead, knight to c3 was played, black to on d4, and black needs more pieces into the attack. He has two options, to open the h-file, as we saw in the previous lines, or bring the darker bishop into the game by playing e6. In the game, white tried to run with the king to f2, but black continued with h4, and king to g2. And the drawback of this move is that white allows black to open the h-file. Better was to push the pawn. Black to on g3. And as we can see, white king is very weak. Black continue with check on c2. Another way was to bring the rook into the game with uh, a rook to d8. This is also good. And here white plays another mistake. Because with this move, black can exchange this rook by playing a rook to h2 check, king takes on h2, queen takes on f2 check, white play king to h3, and in any position we should look for the most forcing moves, which are the checks. If these moves are not working, we need to look for moves that improve our pieces activity. In this position, black has a check on f1, and we need to see if it's working or not. After this move, white can go to g4, queen to f3 check, king to h3, queen to h1 check, king to g4, g6, preparing f5 check, and if somehow black would manage to cut the queen access to h5 square, we would have a mate here with the queen. So after g6, we need to see if white is able to prevent this mate. He can try queen to g5, but after f5, e takes and g takes on a5 check, white needs to, to give the queen, because the king has no squares, so white is mated soon. So we saw that giving a check on f1 with the queen was winning. Instead, in the game, black played e6, attacking the queen, trying to bring more pieces into the game, which is not that powerful as queen to f1. And after this move, white plays the queen on c4, and this time the queen controls this important square, so black has no checks in this position. 
he can try to bring the bishop into the game to d6 but after this white can push the bishop back with e5 bishop to e7 and knight to e4 attacking the queen and after queen to e1 white takes the knight queen to h1 check king to g4 and we have the same thing with the mate on h5 here black can play f5 black takes with check king to f4 black takes the knight king to g4 rook to d8 taking the queen queen to e3 queen to d1 check king to h3 queen to h5 check king to g2 rook to d1 and white is mated soon so bringing the bishop into the game was a good choice another option for black would have been to go with the knight fourth to f3 and here white can give a check on a4 b5 knight takes on b5 queen to f1 king to g4 knight to h2 check king to g5 bishop to e7 check king to h5 queen to h3 mate so this was another good option for black in the game black played bishop to c5 and as we can see this is a free piece but black wants to remove uh, white queen from controlling f1 square it's obvious if white takes here black will do the same mate with queen to f1 king to g4 queen to f3 check king to h3 queen to h1 king to g4 f5 check he takes on a5 he takes on a5 king to g5 and queen to h5 mate so taking the bishop is not good in the game he played bishop to e3 finally white manages to develop the bishop even if it's free but it's forcing black queen to take on e3 also white rook controls the first rank so no checks for black after bishop to e3 black took on e3 white took on c5 king to d7 protecting the pawn and also this king move allows the rook to come on h8 giving a check so white prevented this move with queen to h5 rook to f8 defending this pawn queen to h7 attacking the pawn and here black push this pawn which is a free pawn and white can take it and after knight to f3 intending to fork the king and the queen white can continue with king to g2 knight takes on g5 rook to d1 check king to c8 queen to h5 knight takes on e4 queen to f3 queen takes king takes knight takes on c3 b takes on c3 and black is the pawns up in its position in the game white didn't take the pawn and he played f5 black took on f5 rook to d1 bringing the least active piece into the game and also the knight is pinned black continue with g4 check king to h4 king to c6 e takes on f5 taking the material which was free and black played f6 and this is a big mistake if you want to find the joy of this move pause the video and find the move by yourself the problem with this move is that white queen has access to the seventh rank and can win a pawn by taking this pawn and after the king recapture the knight will fork the king and the queen this happened in the game and after this move black replied with the king to c6 knight takes on e3 and we have an equal end game where white will win a g4 pawn and he will have a pawn majority on the king side so he has some chances to win this game so from totally lost position white managed to survive and now he has chances to win black continue with knight to e2 another option for black was to activate the rook and play rook to e8 attacking the knight white took the pawn and he can start to implement one of the correct endgame plan to create a pass pawn on the queen side but better is to win the f6 pawn and take it by free and then have two connected pass pawns which give him a winning advantage black continue with rook to e8 white defended the knight but this move allows black to win a pawn by taking on g3 and if uh, white takes black will take the knight white continue with another move a rook to c1 check king to b5 and knight to d5 attacking the pawn and also 
threatening to fork the king and the rook. Black counterattacked white rook, but this is not good because at the end of the line, white will manage to win this pawn and he will have a pass pawn. So white gave a check, king to b6, knight takes on e8, knight takes on c1, and knight takes on f6. So white needs to start pushing this pawn and promote it to a queen. If uh, black tries to take this pawn, he's lost because after knight to d5 check, king to c5, f6, king takes f7, and white will promote. So black king needs to come near the pawn. And this happened in the game. Black continue with king to c6, a3, protecting the pawn, king to d6, and black resigned. He saw that he doesn't have any counter chance in this position. A possible continuation would be king to e4, a6, knight to g4, king to e7, king to d5. The king will go and grab all these pawns and white will have two connected pass pawns. Knight to d3, attacking the pawn, f6 check, king to e8. Knight to e5, trying to, to exchange knights. Knight to f4 check, king to c5, king to f8, king to b6, knight to d5 check, king takes on b7, knight takes on f6, king takes on a6. So white with these two connected pass pawns is winning. King to e7, d4, king to d6, knight to c4 check, king to d5, knight to e5, knight to d7, king to b7, knight to e5, a4, king to d6, b5, King to c5, trying to come behind and grab the pawns. b6, knight to d7, trying to take this pawn. Knight to b3, check. King to b4, a5. King takes on b3, a6. Knight to c5, check. King to a7. King to c4, b7. And black cannot stop white pawns. So we can stop here. This was the game between Grandmaster Mario Mikhail and International Master Doncha Vladimir. If you found this video useful, click on the like button, share this video, watch other games from my channel, and leave some comments and suggestions in the comment section. See you next time. Bye.